Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you and welcome back to the Bounder BB Show as I bring you my next guest. I have one of the guests that I've admired for a long time. She doesn't even know this, but I followed Chef Patty. She's an award-winning Mexican chef, a TV personality, a cookbook author, an educator, and a food writer. Now, she's best known for her James Beard award-winning and Emmy-nominated public television series, Patty's Mexican Table. That's where I fell in love with her. But today, you're going to fall in love with her on the Valder BB Show. Patty, welcome to the Chef Patty. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. Oh, what a fabulous welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. What a treat. Well, thank you. I've admired you from afar for a long time. I learned how to cook enchiladas from you, so you're like one of my heroes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And happy holidays to you. Well, happy holidays to you. Now, I know that you're here to talk about holiday gatherings. You know, they're looking different this year, but you say food should still be at the center of the celebration. What do you have for us? Absolutely. So I always have a bowl of avocados from Mexico, brand avocados in my kitchen because they're healthy, they're delicious, and they're always in season, which means they're available for us every single day of the year. And even though I weave them into my cooking and my eating, and it's something that really brings and binds our family together, if we use them from morning till night, breakfast to dinner, savory to sweet, People usually don't think about avocados for holidays or for this time of the year, but they make everything that you add them in to be more delicious and feel even so much more special. So I have some ideas for you. Here I have some puff pastries that are filled with cheese and sausage, and you can do butternut squash or sweet potato, and they're turnovers that you just bake in the oven, and they make an appetizer or a light lunch or a dinner. You dip them into a bowl of guacamole, or you top them with slices of ripe avocado. Then also something that's very unexpected. We have this Christmas salad, which in Mexico we eat a lot during the holidays. It's called ensalada de Navidad, and it has Slices of ripe avocado, it has juicy oranges, crisp, sweet apples, chunky, nutty, crunchy peanuts, and you can add pears, you could add bananas, you could add grapes. It's a very unexpected, delicious, and fresh salad. But we don't stop at savory or sweet salad. You can also go into desserts. I love adding my avocados because aside from being delicious and having minerals and vitamins in the the fats that your body really wants and needs, they add that element that desserts need, the creaminess. So I have these cookies, lime cookies, that are dipped in bittersweet chocolate glaze. They're creamy, but they're flaky at the same time. And eggnog, like who doesn't love eggnog for the holidays? I make an avocado coconut eggnog that I spice up with cloves, with nutmeg, with cinnamon, a splash of vanilla, you make it ahead of time, you have it in the fridge, take it out whenever you want to sip. So from breakfast to dinner, savory to sweet, makes the holidays so much more special. That's so exciting because I'm looking, I'm looking for ways also to eat more avocados because the, the oils are so rich and so healthy. And even my dietitian recommended that I put more avocados in my uh, diet. So this is a great way for people to get some really great, great nutrition. How do you know... When to add avocados and not, Chef Patty? How do you know when to add avocados at night? No, well, to what recipes? How do you know what to add it oh, to? Oh, my God. Avocados go with everything. So you can use <laughs> them as a topping. You can use them as a filling. You can use them for baking. Um, you can use them as a creamy... Um, ingredient for a dressing or for a sauce. You can use them for a cream of soup. I mean, avocados are just so incredibly versatile and accessible. So to give you an idea, you can go to avocadosfrommexico.com. You can also go to my site, patihimis.com. You will find hundreds of recipes and tips and tricks um, for, how, for how to use, store, and um, 
save avocado. You know, once you open an avocado, if you don't finish it, you just wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. But once your avocado is ripe, there's really no end to the possibilities of how you can use with avocado. So I just invite you and everyone to start incorporating avocados into more of your dishes. They're a welcome and festive addition. Well, Chef Patty, I'm going to take your advice. I know you have two cookbooks. What do you have on the horizon for us before I let you go? Thank you so much. Well, I have a third cookbook on the way, which should come out next October. And I have the next season of Patty's Mexican Table. We're also in pre-production. We're about to decide what the theme and location is going to be. But this season of Patty's Mexican Table, the newest, is on PBS stations nationwide and also on Amazon Prime. I want to thank you and congratulations on all your success because you're really teaching us how to cook delicious food. So thanks for being my guest on thank the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me on today. Thank you, Chef Patty. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.